press shift A and add a cube. Duplicate a cube and scale in the Z axis. Select the bottom and the top faces and press I to use the insert tool. Delete them and fill the edges. Place it on the top of the cube. Use a mirror modifier on the cube. Add bevel to both cubes. Set the names for the crate with an underscore height suffix. Fix the proportions to whatever you like. Duplicate everything and add the underscore low suffix. Decrease the amount of bevels. and make the UVs. Let's go back to our high poly and bring to ZBrush. In ZBrush, subdivide everything and use DynaMesh to review the sub tools and have a more consistent mesh. Using H polish and Art Flatten, sculpt all the edge wear of your model. Add a few slashes and smashes here and there. For the wood, start adding the edge wear. Then use ARB cracks to create the different planks. Draw one separation and press 1 to repeat the brush stroke. Add some details to that. Scope the wrinkles to each plank. Mask a few round shapes, invert it, and use H polish on them to create some detail. Bring everything to Substance Painter and bake it. Add a wood smart material and mask it. Add a metal smart material and mask it. Add a rust layer on top. Change the parameters until you like it. Add a blur slope filter in the mask to create some stylization. Duplicate this layer and change the color and parameters to use as dirt. Create a fill layer there with a bluish color. Change the blending mode to multiply and add an AO generator to the mask. Search for a light on the search bar and take one of the baked lights. Change the blending mode to soft light and change the parameters. Make adjustments to image occlusion or light or anything you don't like. And render that in a real.